Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how we can access the element of the array list and how to change a particular element of an array list. So we have already learned how to declare an array list and how to add the element inside the array list. So here we have an array list, and inside this array list, we have added three elements: Mumbai, Pune, Delhi. So if I run this code, you see we are getting here three values here. Now, if I want to add one more element, so what I need to say, I need to provide here a array list name, which is the city name here. Then I need to say add, and then I need to provide a value. So as this is a array list of string data type, I need to provide values in double quotes. Let's say I provide here Delhi. And if I run this code now, so here I am getting Delhi, Mumbai, Pune. Now I don't want to print the entire array list. I want to get a particular element from the array list. Let's say I want to get the first value present inside this array list. So how I can get this? So simple way, you need to provide the array list name, so which is city name, then provide dot, and there is a method called get. So see, there is a method here called get, and what this particular method takes? It takes an integer value. If I provide here get method, so I need to provide an index position. So this index position is basically the values stored inside this array list. So if I provide here zero, then this will provide me the value located at zeroth index position. So zeroth index position will have the value Delhi. Then first will have Mumbai. Then second will have Pune. Then third will have again Delhi. So basically, it's similar to the array indexing. If I run this code. So see, I am getting a Delhi. If I say here get of two, so what will be the value? It will be third element. So third element is Pune here. So if I run this code, so see, I am getting a Pune. So in this way, you can access a particular element in the array list using a method called get. Now, let's say you want to remove a particular element. So how to remove it? So there is a method called remove. So if I say here. See, there is a method called remove here, right? And what this method is taking? This method is taking one index. So here you can provide an index. So if I provide here zero as an index, then it will remove the value present at this index position. So the index position present here is Delhi, right? If I run this code, what will happen? So we have removed this index position now, and if I try to print the array list again, see how city name. And if I run this code now, so see here we have only three values now: Mumbai, Pune, Delhi. Because city dot remove zero will remove that particular value. So here we have Delhi because this is the index here, right? Value stored at that index position. In this way, you can remove the value. Another way is using a the value. So here we are providing the index position zero to delete the value, right? Instead of that, you can also directly provide the value here. Let's say you provide here Delhi. If I run this code, so see it has deleted the value so this particular statement has returned me true because it has found the element delhi here in the first index position and it has deleted the first index position it has not deleted the last index position so it has deleted only first value that it has found right because here also delhi is present but it has not deleted that value let's say i want to delete now another way let's say pune so i will provide here pune if i run this code so I'm getting here Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi. So it has deleted now Pune. But what if I provide a value which is not present inside this list? So here I say Pune with small p, right? Here we have uppercase p. So let's see what is the output. So here we are getting false because here no value is present with the Pune which matches to this particular value, right? So no element is deleted. So in this way. You can make use of remove method 
by providing an index position as well as providing a value. And what if you if you want to empty the entire list? Now you want to delete all the elements which are present inside this list. So simple, you need to give your method called clear. So this clear will remove all the elements present inside the list. So what error we are getting here? We have print stream is not applicable for this particular method. So here we will remove the print and we will just provide here a statement city name dot clear city name is our array list and then we will print the city name so if i run this code you see we are getting the empty array list because we have added the elements but we have cleared all the values present inside this array list now let's you want to set or update the values so what is the way in which you can do this so let me remove this clear first now let's say we have this array list which have the value Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Delhi. Now let's say you want to change the second value here. So how we can change this second value? So you need to say city name which is your list name dot set. So this set is taking two parameters. First is index and second is element. So what it will do? whatever index position you have provided it will set that particular value let's say i want to change the value here mumbai so index position of mumbai is one right because indexing starts from zero so here i say one and the value i want to change here is let's say bangalore this is the value here now what will happen first time the array list is created then we have added these elements and now we are setting the index position 1 to bangalore so mumbai will be changed to bangalore now if i run this code so see we are getting here delhi bangalore pune and delhi so the mumbai has been replaced by bangalore using the set function now what if i provide an index position which is not present inside this array list currently because we have provided four values here so the last index position here is 3 and if I change here 4 to let's say I want to provide your value Chennai. Now what will happen? So here we are getting an error. So what does this error say? Index 4, size 4. Here the index is out of bound because the array list contain only 4 elements and you are trying to update the index position 4 which is the 5th element, right? So it is not possible. If you want to add the Chennai inside this array list, you can make use of add method, right? That we are using here. We will directly say add and then we will say here Chennai. And if I run this code, so we are getting this time Chennai as well here inside this city name list. So this is the way you can access a particular element inside the array list using the get method. You can set the values of the array list using a set method and you can remove the elements from the array list using remove method and to remove all the elements from the array you need to make use of clear method. So that's it in this video. We will cover another topics of array list in next video. Thank you for watching.